Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we got a special one here for you. Uh, one I've been working on for about a week now, but really I started this project quite a while ago. And basically it's cataloging and databasing uh, a product's hydrophobic performance when it's new. Um, so say you're looking around and saying, what does Q2X look like when you first apply it? What does its hydrophobics look like? Best case scenario. It's in the video. <clears throat> um, there's a total of 21 products in this video and the plan is to go through every single one I own and through, I guess, volumes, document them and show them with like a mist setting and the flood setting to show the beading and the sheeting performance they have when they're brand new. I made a thread on this uh, on Detailing World called Encyclopedia Driptanica and basically as the name implies, it's sort of like a, an encyclopedia of hydrophobics. So, uh, right now I've got, uh, you know, a fair bit to get through, but uh, there's still room to grow and obviously room to document because this industry is growing at a fairly exponential rate. So, if you do have a product that you want to see in this video or tested by me or if if you're a company um i have an email to reach out in the about on this channel um it's if any if, if you're a viewer and you just have want to ask me a question you don't want it on the public like the youtube comment section shoot me an email that's what it's there for it's for contacting me um uh i've had a couple companies reach out to send me things um they weren't major players or anything like that or at least not the impression that i got um, but because I live in Canada, uh, I think they went bankrupt just thinking about how much it would cost to ship something to me. So, um, obviously sending me something is not going to be the easiest thing to do in the world, but if you have something and you want to see it tested, uh, you can send me a sample and I will do that and I can write a review about it if you'd like, or, you know, whatever you want. If you've got a product and you want it tested, the, ch the contact is up there. Um, but this video and going forward is about getting the baseline water performance. It's not full reviews, we're not checking gloss, slickness, anything like that. It's just hydrophobics. Um, and, uh, and, and like I said, there's 21 products in this video because that's all the test sections I have that I can, you know, sort of cleanly apply to and, and uh, film cleanly to perform and control the variables, have them in the garage, not let them get wet or dirty. So that's what we're doing today. The first 21 and then once this is done we'll clean them off with polish reapply another 21 products and continue on from there um pretty much anything goes anything that adds hydrophobic performance can be in this test it can be a all-in-one polish something like that you know i don't care it's going in this test it's going in this database because if somebody wants to know what it performs like i want it to be there for them to see one of the reasons I started this channel, I was trying to find reviews on some products and I just, I couldn't find a review I could trust. So that's why I did it. Um, and that's why I'm here today. But without further ado, let's get into the water behavior. <laughs> 